Can a low or high white blood cell count during pregnancy indicate any underlying health issues? Hey there! Welcome to today's video, where we'll be discussing whether a low or high white blood cell count during pregnancy can indicate any underlying health issues. Pregnancy is an exciting time, but it's also crucial to ensure the well-being of both the mother and the baby. Let's dive in and explore this topic further. Understanding White Blood Cells and Their Role To begin, let's briefly understand what white blood cells are and their role in the body. White blood cells, also known as leukocytes, are an essential component of the immune system. They help defend the body against infections and diseases by identifying and neutralizing harmful pathogens. Normal Range of White Blood Cell Count During Pregnancy during pregnancy, it's normal for the white blood cell count to fluctuate. Generally, a pregnant woman's white blood cell count may be slightly higher than usual due to physiological changes in the body. The normal range for white blood cell count during pregnancy varies but typically falls between 4,000 and 11,000 cells per microliter. Low white blood cell count during pregnancy now, let's address the question of whether a low white blood cell count during pregnancy can indicate underlying health issues. While it's uncommon, a low white blood cell count, known as leukopenia, may occur during pregnancy. Leukopenia can be caused by various factors, including viral infections, certain medications, autoimmune disorders, and bone marrow disorders. If a pregnant woman has a persistently low white blood cell count, it's important to consult a healthcare provider. They will evaluate the individual's medical history, conduct further tests, and determine the underlying cause. Prompt medical attention is crucial to identify and address any potential health issues that may affect both the mother and the baby. High white blood cell count during pregnancy. Moving on, let's discuss whether a high white blood cell count during pregnancy can indicate any underlying health issues. A high white blood cell count, known as leukocytosis, may also occur during pregnancy. Leukocytosis can be a normal response to pregnancy-related physiological changes or a result of an underlying condition. Some common causes of leukocytosis during pregnancy include infections, inflammation, stress, or certain medications. In most cases, a temporary increase in white blood cell count is not a cause for concern and may resolve on its own. However, if a pregnant woman experiences persistent high white blood cell count, it's essential to consult a healthcare provider. They will evaluate the individual's symptoms, perform additional tests if necessary, and determine the underlying cause. Early detection and appropriate management of any underlying health issues are crucial for the well-being of both the mother and the baby. To wrap up, while a low or high white blood cell count during pregnancy can indicate underlying health issues, it's important not to jump to conclusions without proper medical evaluation. Fluctuations in white blood cell count are common during pregnancy due to physiological changes, but persistent abnormalities should be addressed by a healthcare provider. Regular prenatal care and open communication with your healthcare team are key to ensuring a healthy and successful pregnancy. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Take care, and have a wonderful day.